I'm Scott Thompson from Two Works For You. Here are some of today's top stories. Bartlesville police spent the day at a middle school after school officials found a gun in a bathroom there. This happened at Madison Middle School in Bartlesville. A concerned parent called school officials this morning about a missing gun. Police say they found the gun hidden above a ceiling tile in a bathroom. The student was taken into custody. Police said the student did not make a threat or intend to harm anyone, but thought it was cool to take the gun to school. Officials say the situation is secure and safe. All eyes are on Keystone Dam as questions about flooding linger. The Army Corps of Engineers increased the flow after water levels in Keystone and Caw Lakes rose. That's, of course, in hopes of keeping neighboring areas from flooding. The Army Corps of Engineers says there will be minimal effects, if any, from the release of water today. They are well within the realm of what the channel can hold, although the last time they released a similar magnitude of water was in 1998. Less than a year after the University of Oklahoma gained a new president, James Gallagher has announced he's retiring from that job. Gallagher has dealt with a lot of controversy on campus, including budget cuts, an investigation of his predecessor, David Boren, and a study, student rally, calling Gallagher to resign. That happened in January when a video went viral after a student in blackface walked around the Norman campus. Gallagher says he's retiring once the Board of Regents has a transition plan in place. Let's get a check of the forecast, but meteorologist Clint Boone. All right, thank you very much, Scott. Should be a pretty nice afternoon across the Tulsa Metro. Expecting a mostly sunny sky, upper 70s for highs. Could be a few showers and storms south of I-40 this afternoon as we look at your forecast for the rest of the work week. Lower 80s tomorrow. Chance for some showers early in the day. Mid 80s to upper 80s by Thursday, Friday. That next chance for some storms is going to be on Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Sunday looking a lot better and then uh, more chances for rain and storms heading into next week. Scott. Thank you, Clint. I'm Scott Thompson. Two works for you.